We are going to see the radiological features of scurvy. A boy sees a girl. Vitamin C deficiency. With a scar. What a beauty. He then gives her a rose and proposes her. So scar, beautic, rosary. She replies frankly. Frankal line. I need a burger and a ring to accept you. Wim burger ring. On hearing this, the boy decides to react. Periosteal reaction. He takes a pointed pencil and stabs her. Pencil point cortex. And blood. Hemarthrosis and subperiosteal hemorrhage. On seeing her blood, tremors are felt by her. Tremor felt zone. He then again stabs her firmly with a pelican and blood spurts. Pelican spur. So now we are going to know why the radiological features of scurvy occur. In bone there are two components, the osteoid component and the mineral component. In osteoid component the major protein is collagen. Collagen to form its triple helical structure, hydroxylation of proline and lysine is needed. This is dependent on vitamin C. In scurvy there is less vitamin C so there is defective collagen so there is weak bone. The costochondral junctions swell even on normal respiration as it as it's so weak. So this is corbutic grocery. In scurvy there is defective osteoid and normal mineralization. The cartilage grows slowly but calcium deposits at normal rate leading to excess calcium deposition leading to frankel line and pelican spur. Collagen is also present in blood vessels. So in scurvy there are fragile blood vessels. In periosteum leading to subperiosteal hemorrhage which is the periosteal reaction. In metaphysis the blood vessel rupture, blood accumulates there. So there is increased lucency leading to tremor felt zone. In epiphysis blood vessel rupture in the center leading to central lucency in epiphysis. So the epiphysis appears like a ring.